I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to visit what some consider to be the best coffee shop in the Midwest, Kickapoo Coffee. I'm here to learn about latte art, but first, I have to try some of the coffee. It's pretty good. At this point, I've been through a bit of a journey trying to understand what goes into making coffee, but honestly, I still don't really know like what makes it good. So what does Kickapoo do different as a store? We take the time to make sure that all the boxes on our list are getting checked, and that list is the list of things related to quality. Can you tell me about latte art and what goes into that? Yeah, latte art's definitely an interesting thing. It allows that barista to kind of take a time out and focus really specifically at that one drink. It describes to me the process of making latte art. We first need a machine that can put out a high level of steam pressure. You fill the steam pitcher, generally speaking, one third full of milk. You then stick the steam wad just below the surface of the milk. The machine kicks out that steam pressure, and if you hold the pitcher just right, it can cause the milk to rotate. Then comes time to pour the cream. You see experienced breezes will move around the pitcher. There's a rhythm involved, similar to break dancing. Certain designs depend on the milk to sway back and forth. Uh, if you're really interested in latte art, uh, tonight actually we're having a little latte art competition. We call it a throwdown. And if you want, you could probably even uh, try it out yourself. See how you do. Okay. <laughs> It was at this point that I realized I was in way over my head. They made me sign up on a tournament style bracket where I would go head to head against other baristas. Except, I'm not a barista. I quickly started watching YouTube videos in hopes of somehow faking my way through it. And of course, they placed me on the bottom of the bracket, so I had plenty of time to consider my impending demise. You, you win sometimes, you lose, you know, it's a little bit up and down. And so how'd you do? I lost. Uh, I tried to pour a swan, but it definitely failed. It looked like a peacock. There's kind of a few different things that you look for in latte art competition. Looking for symmetry, so that is the design symmetrical, your technical difficulty of the design. And then you're just looking for contrast of the milk and the crema of the espresso, so the brown and white kind of contrast. After over an hour of waiting, it was finally my time to shine. Minnesota? Yeah. Perfect. I'm from Wisconsin. This will be a battle. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, really? I have never done this before. Yes! <laughs> have you ever steamed milk before? Nope. Okay. You're going to want to angle the steam head so it's not pointed straight down. Okay. At an angle, just create a small vortex. Don't go too crazy. Try this. this cup right here is pretty bad. 
This cup is terrible. That's why he didn't win. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> so, just got eliminated. So, uh, pouring coffee is a little bit more complicated than I expected. I guess not something you can just watch a YouTube video right before and figure out. I still don't know everything about coffee.